Hey guys, Bruce here. Welcome back. Today we're going to look at the cope joint for a piece of angle iron. I think it's a pretty common joint. I think the first one I'll do up with the uh, Harbor Freight 90 amp modified flux core welder. I haven't used it for quite some time, so we'll see how it works out with that machine. Some of the most important parts of this joint is the preparation, as probably is true with most of welding. So we'll see if we can get a good prep on the metal and uh, do my first cope joint. So I'm going to cut out two six inch pieces so I can use as minimal as possible. Hopefully I have enough to do maybe three joints out of this. And then we'll uh, go from there and I'll explain how the joint is laid out. We'll lay it out, cut it, and uh, see if we can't get it welded up. This is one eighth inch thickness, by the way, in case you were curious. So the way the cope joint goes together is basically like this. And then you'll have three surfaces to weld, the corner, along the back edge, and then right down through here. Now in order to do that, you need to remove a piece of, of one of the sides. Draw a line right down this inside edge. I'm going to cut this line out and then I also need to cut straight across the the back of the corner so that that's flush there as well. So here's what the joint looks like after I've got it all fit up. Now I did chamfer the edges so that when I weld that together I've got somewhere for that weld to go so then when I ground that off flush on the outside to make it look good I actually have some weld sunk down in there in addition to whatever penetration I get out of the weld because I don't want to completely grind off the weld and have just a little thin strip of metal holding the two together. I want, to I want the weld to be down in there. Now that's optional and it's a lot of extra work. You just don't really know this stuff until you try it or until you've got experience doing it. So for being my first one, and it's just an experiment. If you were doing a project like building a welding table or a uh, a welding cart or something with this method you'd have to determine whether the extra effort to prepare it each joint like that is worth the worth it to you I think it's a lot of work but it should be a good strong good looking strong joint if I can get it welded up properly I'm gonna hook up the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core welder and then we'll see what kind of what kind of job I can do welding that together see if I can make it look halfway decent Got the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core welder that I modified sitting over here on the ground. I'm going to put a few tacks on this. I have the machine set to maximum on the power setting and my wire feed speed on about four and a half. Okay, now that it's all tacked up, the first weld I'm going to run is uh, back there in the corner. Then I'll lay it down, finish out the corner, and then do this butt joint last.
that little flux core welder after the mods did really well. If you haven't seen those mods on the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core and you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. But I still really like that little welder. That outside corner came out all right. For a Harbor Freight flux core, not bad at all. At least at my skill level. I could grind those down smooth and that'd look real nice, I think. I seem to, uh, at least in my opinion, have been improving on those on those welds. So that's a cope joint with the Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core. I'm going to do another video here in the next week or so. Same joint with the uh, Prime Weld TIG 225X. See how that turns out. Anyway, thanks you guys for joining along on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm trying to grow the channel and that'll really help me out. And we'll see you on the next video.